What happens if we push this thing? Oh yeah, that's right. That's what happens. Hello everybody, you can call me Bloody. And welcome back to Spire Nights. We need a wild hunting blade because reasons. It's one of the more fun weapons that Bloody has been wanting to try out. It's a striker sword that does normal damage, and the 5 star version of it can summon wolfers to fight for you. Kind of. Plus the sword barks when you swing it, so that's pretty cool. We forgot to get the 2 star uh, base weapon for this thing. There we go, we got that fixed. It's just the starter weapon for these types of weapons, so we won't go into too much detail about this thing. And we'll just go try it out in the arcade. Hey, buttons! Bloody wants to push the buttons and watch fun things happen. Get back here! Uh, get over there! Well, instead I guess we could fight this thing for now. Bring it on! This is what happens to clockwork monsters when you run from the weapons testing. That didn't get it? Well, there's only one thing to do now. Just keep swinging at it until it's dead. Usually works most of the time, I guess. There we go. Good is done. What happens if we push this thing? Oh yeah, that's right. That's what happens. Well, it's not like we have to heat this thing up any further or anything. We're upgrading this thing from cutting to striking. It's just the upgraded form the base weapon though. And we haven't really gotten started on the wolfy blade yet. Well, let's go find something to strike in the arcade. We found puppies! And they've got rabies. How fun. Maybe if we use the sword enough times on these wolvers, we'll trap their souls into this thing. Maybe that's how the wild hunting blade works, I guess. Well, let's get to the heating. We have heated. Things have been forged. Bring on the hunting blade. So shiny. Well, let's go find something to fight with our new weapon in the arcade. Who shall we fight? Well, I wasn't really expecting much, but hey, we found another one of these types of rooms. And history repeats itself once again. Well, either ways, it's going to end the same ways anyways. Your shield won't work against our hunting blade, gremlin. That's just rude. As you are the one that's being hunted this time, gremlin, even though you're not a beast, but still. Push the lucky button, bloody. Nothing bad can happen. Surprise! It's an ambush! Yay! After barely escaping that alive, it's time to play the heating game. Oh boy, here we go again. There we are. Finally, the wild hunting blade shall soon be ours. As we can now make puppies come out of thin air. Let's see how this thing does against whatever we can find in the clockworks in the arcade. We are here with the Wild Hunting Blade. Joining us for today, just for this special occasion, is our special guest, the Snarbolex. This sword is a 5 star normal damage weapon that has a high damage bonus against beasts, which the Snarbolex just so happens to be. And with all the recipes that you can get from the Hall of Heroes, or Basil if you're willing to go that far for these recipes. The Wild Hunting Blade is apparently a legendary cutter weapon that's feared by even the mightiest of wolvers and cribalisks. Well, I mean, it's pretty fast, but it's not that strong, even against wolvers, but hey, we crafted this thing, and now we get to play fetch with the uh, Snarby with this thing. Plus, Snarby here is a beast, which this thing just happens to have a high damage bonus on. So. Why not see how long Snarby can handle themselves against this thing? Yeah, take that Snarby! We just hunted the Snarby with the Wild Hunting Blade. I mean, Snarby is a beast, so it kind of works. Now that I think about it, it sure has been a while since we brought Snarby in as a test subject. Mostly because of the bell mechanic being sometimes a bit difficult to work with, but uh, 
Hey, it works. Kind of. But anyways, welcome to the arsenal, wild hunting blade. Let's collect our treasure and head on home. We'll see you then. And that's all that I have to show to you for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.